So, question is, how do I get my first buy to let mortgage? It's a really good question, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's what you wanna know. It's not as hard as you think, I promise you. Um, and actually, it shouldn't be something that you need to be the expert in. Guess what? When you go into property, there are a bunch of people that you need to work with who are super important to you. And the critical person, well, in, at all points, is gonna be your IFA, Independent Financial Advisor. They should be what's called whole of market. What that means is they are, um, they're not tied to one or two mortgage companies and therefore can only offer those products. They're tied to the entire market. So the entire time, they should be scanning the whole market and finding the product that's right, right for you. And there are different types of mortgage products. And by the way, I'm not a mortgage advisor, so I'm just telling you what I know from my general experience. And there are some uh, mortgage companies that are happy to go with the early stage buy to let investor. And then there are some mortgage companies and banks and challenger banks that want to go with the mortgage invest uh, the property investors who are really quite experienced. So um, there are some companies that will only allow you to have four properties before they won't fund you anymore. So they're obviously the early stage people. And then there are other companies that, me that mean you have to have landlord experience before they even start funding you. So it's horses for courses, isn't it? So number one is the person who's most critical to your team is going to be your IFA, Independent Financial Advisor. They need to be a buy-to-let specialist, not a generalist. They really, really need to know the mortgage uh, 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 market out there and the buy-to-let mortgage market. When you interview them, this is what you need to be listening for. Okay, your situation is a bit interesting, because it might be, you know? And, and if you're saying to them, well, how will you get me mortgages, that their answer should be along the lines of, I'd phone up the BDM, Business Development Manager, the Sales Director, the Operation Director, the um, Head of Compliance. Usually it's a BDM, Business Development Manager, and I talk your case through. If, if your case is a bit unusual, like you're self-employed or whatever, um, then they need to have that personal relationship with the mortgage company and explain, like they used to do it with me, you know, I jumped out my day job, I had six months worth of self-employed accounts and I still got mortgages, no problem. Why? Because my mortgage advisor, my independent financial advisor, IFA, whole of market, used to phone up and go, I got an interesting one for you, to his uh, business development manager. Then he'd explain my situation, he'd get a verbal yes or no, so he knew when to not bother and when to go for it, and then he'd put the full application in. So what I'm really saying is you need a specialist who's an, a buy-to-let mortgage advisor, and you need somebody who is not going to go, computer says no, because a computer said, like, you're an entrepreneur. Like, there is no computer says no. It's always, how do we find a way around this? And then you're gonna need some uh, some organization from your end. So, get your bank, uh, bank, bank accounts organized now. Um, organize yourself that um, for you, you've got like any income that comes into one bank account, any expenditure on your house, you've got a household bank account. The reason is the banks are gonna to wanna to see your, your accounts and you've gotta make it easy for them to go, this is my income, this is my household expenditure, this is my property expenditure. Do you see what I mean? Get yourself organized because they're gonna to want to see six months, a year's worth of bank accounts. And if you're showing them a the right little mess, you're not given a great impression. Like for me, obviously I'm quite experienced now, but from the very beginning, in my property bank accounts, I had rent income, mortgage payment, um, investor management, bills and maintenance, profit. So everything was, if they wanted to see my rent income, I would just show them that bank account. If they wanted to see that I paid all my bills, I'd show them that bank account. If they want to see my mortgages, I'd show them about that bank account. And so the impression I'm giving is of somebody that's really organized. And all it is, is I make sure that the right bank account has got the right direct debits and standing orders. And then secondly, you need to store all of your bank accounts now, so whether, uh, your statements. So whether it comes into you on paper and you scan them in, or whether it's online and you download them and scan them, you are going to need to supply that paperwork to your financial advisor. So there's a bit of work you're gonna to have to do yourself. But how do you get your first mortgage for your buy to your first buy to let investment? The number one critical person is your mortgage advisor, 
whole of market. And when you ask them, how would you help me? If they hear a, well, I would just apply on a computer, you run a mile. If you hear them saying, I would phone up the BDM and talk your case through, woohoo, you grab them and you work with them for years. There you go. And it's not that difficult, I promise you. Banks wanna lend money, and if you're a good bet, they're gonna be interested in lending you money. And um, the nerves I had in the early, oh, one more thing. If you're very nervous about getting a mortgage, I would strongly recommend you get a DIP. See all these letters? D-I-P, Decision in Principle. What you do is you put an application into your chosen bank or your mortgage advisor's chosen bank. They give you a decision in principle. And then for the first time, you know, if you're nervous of, oh my goodness, will I be able to get lending or not? Then you're going to go and go, well, that's the top amount of money that in theory they're going to lend me. So I know my top budget and I can go shopping to estate agents. There you are. Entrepreneurial experience, buy to let, whole of market, mortgage advisor, no computer says no people, yes to the personal touch and a decision in principle. Keep going. Not quite sure where to start managing a portfolio? Learn to let. My lettings pack written for you guys, you can download it now. It is all the knowledge processes systems we use to run a major portfolio. Go grab it now.